Hello everybody! In my last video, I make some uh, comparison between sugar carbon and sugar carbon which is activated with zinc chloride. And you see a uh, really big difference. The sugar carbon uh, based battery run this little motor for uh, about five minutes and the carbon which is which was activated with zinc chloride uh, run 12 minutes so but today uh, I make some uh, changes in the electrolyte and I was thinking uh, this will be really interesting for you guys In my last video, uh, when I charge this battery, which have uh, the active material made from uh, sugar carbon, which, which was activated with zinc chloride, the starting voltage was 1.4 volts, and the electrolyte was uh, water with uh, magnesium chloride. So, right now I have here the same voltage 2.4 volts and 200 milliamps uh, this was the same setup which I used in the last video uh, this battery have this uh, how to say the new electrolyte I will try uh, charge this battery with uh, uh, I mean I will charge this battery with uh, one minute So right now I don't have a timer and uh, I cannot uh, see when one minute is over. So the same electrolyte I use also in this super cap and this is a super cap because the active materials and the, and the positive and the negative electrode are uh, activated carbon and uh, the starting voltage was 1.7 volts and run uh, 10 minutes. This super cap uh, is almost identical like this, but you see the current collectors are made from uh, carbon fiber. And I use also this electrolyte in this super cap. The active material on the positive and the negative is activated carbon. Uh, and these super caps run about 12, yeah, almost 13 minutes. And you see the size. This one is a little bit smaller but the runtime run was better like by this one 10 minutes on this uh, 30 minutes on this on uh, and run this this motor okay and now i will dis disconnect these charging cables Oops. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, 
Okay, I need to hold this. And you see, the starting voltage is 2 volts. Really, really awesome. And run this little motor for about uh, 20 to yeah, 20 minutes. In my last video, the starting voltage was uh, 1.6 volt, uh, 1.6 volts, and here you can see two volts. Really awesome. So the electrolyte is almost the same like but the last video which I make. Uh, the electrolyte is made from magnesium chloride, again uh, water and ethylene glycol. So guys I need to warn you because if you play with uh, ethylene glycol uh, this stuff is really really toxic and ethylene, ethylene glycol is used uh, also in uh, antifreeze but I use uh, I don't use antifreeze I use pure ethylene glycol so you don't want to drink this because small amount of this can kill you really easily So the active materials in this battery are the same which I uh, put in in my last video. This was uh, activated carbon on the negative electrode and on the positive this sugar carbon with uh, zinc chloride activation. So I also play with these symmetrical uh, super caps which have on the positive and the negative electrode the same material which is activated carbon and this was the starting voltage of 1.7 volts and run 10 minutes this little motor and uh, and uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the amount of active material on each side was 0 0.2 uh, grams. Also here, but this uh, this little guy ran uh, for about 13 minutes because of this. Uh, of this current collector which is made from uh, carbon fiber and uh, potentially have bigger surface area like this one so it's really awesome this carbon fiber you need to try this but see the voltage after I don't know after after a couple of minutes I have 1.7 vol uh, volts which was the starting voltage in my previous video so guys I make this electrolyte with 50 50 mix of ethylene glycol and water and uh, I don't know several grams 2-3 grams of uh, magnesium chloride really really awesome uh, so 
why I use, I mean, why I tried this uh, ethylene glycol? Because uh, ethylene glycol don't react with magnesium. So if you make some magnesium batteries, and uh, in this battery, uh, magnesium battery, you put some sort of uh, water-based electrolyte. Uh, the magnesium will react with electrolyte, and you get a lot of hydrogen uh, evolution. And also, uh, on the top of magnesium, you will see some layer of magnesium oxide. And here I have. Half of our, uh, half of our, our, this magnesium piece, and I don't see any I don't see any uh, magnesium oxide layer on the top. And this is uh, mag uh, magnesium chloride with uh, ethylene glycol. So if you have interest to make some magnesium batteries, uh, I think the starting electrolyte uh, will be based on ethylene glycol. But like I said, uh, this ethylene glycol is really, really toxic liquid. So I, I will not run this. Uh, to the end because I need to go home uh, but yeah this is my little update on my uh, on my electrolyte in my last video you will see uh, you know how to make this activated carbon and in this video you will see how good perform this electrolyte which is water with ethylene glycol and magnesium chloride but you can also use some uh, another salt for example zinc chloride zinc sulfate uh, magnesium sulfate also works really really good uh, aluminium chloride what you want you need to try you need to experiment uh, and that's it. No big deal. We have some materials put together and see what you can get out of these materials. So, you can see how, how can affect uh, small changes on electrolytes or active materials and so on but you need to try you need to try a lot of things so like i but uh, this this ethylene glycol i previously used for magnesium batteries but i tried this in this battery and works really really great so small changes on active materials, uh, electrolytes and so on can perform really really big uh, changes. I need to go because it's really cold. Uh, oops. Okay, that's it. It's over.
so you see the same design like uh, this is the same design uh, like by the last video which I make yeah that's it okay I hope uh, this was really interesting to you uh, because for me is I mean I'm really excited about this uh, and yeah we see us in the next video and like always bye